Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel where I'm going to learn you guys an absolutely awesome, awesome tutorial of how to progress on more of this awesome game, Way of the Hunter. So guys, please, first of all, make sure you guys are subscribing to the channel. Do hit that bell icon to be notified of all content that I do put up in the future. And do give this video a big, big, massive thumbs up. Do drop down in the comments down below if there is anything you guys believe I have missed out on this tutorial. So, I've been asked this a lot. Rory, how do you know what to shoot and what not to shoot in game? I've only learned this out round about two, three weeks ago. So, I'm in photo mode right now. Um, obviously, we are paused. So, what I'm going to show you is the difference in what to shoot, what not to shoot. Now, a lot of people think or have been told that basically you should only be shooting your one-star matures, your mature females, um, anything that's coming into a low fitness call. Yes, do do that. So as well, now what I've learned is because we are working hugely on trying to gain out of every species of animal what we've got is gaining high genetics in each herd. Each? Each. <laughs> each herd, chat. So, I'm going to show you right now what obviously the difference is, what now I know. You guys can be doing this as well. All you've got to do to get that little bit of a better view, exactly what you're seeing right now, is go into photo mode and then look around your animal. Make sure that you are paused in photo mode. So that your animals are not going to walk away and you can obviously get a better look. I'll show you exactly how to go into photo mode in just a second. So what you want to be doing. So we've got a herd of white-tailed deer here. So looking at this gentleman here. He is a two-star adult. Okay. So before I used to look at a two-star adult and go, no, he could potentially become a five-star. Now what we're going to do is look at him properly. So looking at his antlers, okay? So looking at the left side, which is obviously closest to us right now, he has got one, two, three points on the left side. So front to back, three points. We go to his left, his right hand side. And looking, he's got including back, one, two, three, four, five, six points. Now, this is not going to change over time at all. It will not change. So, this is a two-star adult. So, would you shoot this? Yes, I would shoot it. Because it is not symmetrical both sides on antlers. Now, the hard thing, especially we're going to talk about um, bears, uh, wolves. These are going to be a lot harder to judge. So, this is going to be down to your guys' judgment, as well as mine, to say, do we take this shot? Do we take the risk of that he is going to not be a high genetic? Not fitness, high genetic. That's what we're going for. You want genetics to go back out. So we don't want, example, this guy here going out there, going with those lovely ladies right there, spreading his seed and not producing a good genetic. Now we look at these gentlemen young gentlemen, because these are young adult males. So you look at his, the nothing exceptional at the moment, because obviously he's only a young adult, but they are symmetrical, both sides. Exact symmetrics, both sides, nothing out of place, perfect. Again, this one behind, you look at him, he, genetically, is perfect. So these two guys, these two one-star youngs, and you can as well, even in the one-star youngs, get bad genetics. They will basically show up as like little points, little stubs, or whatever it may be. If it doesn't look symmetrical, both sides show them. So again, within your one-star matures, get them out of there. The, have a look at them first. If they don't come into your mature caller or your low fitness caller, do shoot them. 
If they don't look symmetrical, shoot them. Even though they're not going to come in as a low fitness call, take them out. If they're not symmetrical, they're just going to cause you a lot more problems and you're then going to be wondering, why hasn't this herd turned into a really high genetic herd? That is the reason why, because you have left somebody like him in your herd where you're hoping these two gentlemen or two young gentlemen are going to basically spread their seed and do very, very well. So again, a quick rundown. What you want to be shooting, I know I've repainted myself, but I'm just basically trying to drum it into you guys like people drummed it into me. Make sure one-star matures take out. Female matures take them out. Um, anything that doesn't look symmetrical on your deers, I don't care what it is, if it goes up to four-star, take it out. Providing, obviously we don't know this yet, but hopefully he has been with a lovely lady, done the deed, and he then passes that on. But this should help you guys a lot. Um, it's helped me out a lot. A lot of my herds now are becoming a lot genetically better. I am seeing a huge difference into younger animals what are coming into the herds. So yeah, I hope this does help you out, guys. And I did promise you guys as well exactly how to get into that photo mode. So when you go to menu, so quickly go to your menu, go to photo mode. In the settings, right, you basically pro push RB. I don't know what it is on mouse and keyboard because I use controller. But you can see basically where it says there, pause game, click pause game, and you're away to go. So yeah, I hope this has helped all of you guys out a lot. Uh, like I said, please drop down in the comments if you do believe I'm wrong in what I'm saying or if there's anything else that I have missed out. But I do hope this does help you guys out a lot. Um, yeah, do make sure you guys are subscribing to the channel. Please make sure you're hitting that bell icon to be notified of all content that I do put up in the future. And enjoy. See you soon, guys. Be good. Be well. I'm out.